Right now we're looking at our desktop and the image that we see here is called our wallpaper and we can change that. Go to your start button and click once. Then click on the control panel. Scroll down until you find personalization and click on that. Right now we have Windows 7 Basic which gives us the Windows logo in the background but there are lots of other options too. I'm going to scroll up and I can see that there are different kinds of themes like architecture and if you click on that you can see a preview or nature or you can scroll down and choose high contrast or Windows Classic it's up to you once you've chosen a theme you can even personalize that a little more go down to the bottom of the window and select desktop background Right now your wallpaper will change every 30 minutes and these are the pictures that will be on the slideshow. If you don't like one of those pictures, you can click on the box in the upper left corner of that picture and deselect it. Then that picture won't be included in your slideshow. Or if you really love a picture and you want that on there all the time, you can deselect all the photos until there's just the one. You can also change the 30 minutes to 1 minute or 6 hours or whatever you like. And you can shuffle them so they don't always appear in the same order. Once you're done with this, you can click Save Changes. Now let's go down to Window Color and click that. This will change the color of your window's borders. Right now it's slate and you can see it's kind of translucent. If you choose different colors, you'll see the preview on the borders of windows. If you don't want it to be transparent, you can unclick this checkbox and it'll become solid. And if you want a more intense color, left click and hold on the bar next to color intensity and drag it to the right for an intense color and drag it to a left for a more muted color. If you want a different color than the ones that you have available, select color mixer and you can create a custom color. When you're finished, click Save Changes. And that's how you change your desktop image. To exit this window, click the red X in the upper right corner.